So now we've got the wood cut out of the inside of our walls and the inside of our doors. And we want to remove this skin, this metal, sheet metal skin. How do we do that? It's extremely easy and can actually be quite fun. Let's check it out. So if you watch some of the other videos in this uh, playlist, you've, you've obviously watched the video where we removed the wood from inside this, this wall and inside the doors and inside the other wall, all the wood has been removed. It's just tongue and groove wood that's, uh, that's thrown in there. And actually that wood provides quite a bit of structure for these walls. These walls are, they're, they've got carriage bolts that are bolted to this flat iron here. But really that's all that's holding this skin onto this trailer. It's, you know, it's, it is what it is. This is how they made them. And I'm sure that that's a similar direction to how they still make them. So now that we've got the wood cut out from the inside, really, in order to cut the wood out, if you recall, I had you cut out these carriage bolts, right? Here's, here's a nut to one of them. So you gotta get them, there was three up here and there was two in the fender. Be sure you cut all of them. And basically this is sitting loose in that channel on either side, okay? There's a channel on either side and just angle on top and that is now sitting loose in there. But we've got to get it, we want to get it out of here. I talked to um, the great owners to be of this trailer and we decided that on the exterior, we, you know, we want a nice wood wall. So um, this is what I've done on previous trailers and it looks awesome. So what we're gonna do is get rid of this skin um, and so I will show you how to do that. Um, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to give you an inside view. This is all I'm going to, especially on this long wall. You might need this on a short wall, but on the long wall, all I want you to do is push. Okay, we're just going to push. We're just going to push through there. See that? It's already popping out. It's already popping out. See how flexible that is? All we're going to do is push. Let's take a look inside. You'll get to see. I'm going to push from the outside just like I just showed you. You're going to see what happens on the inside. All right. So as I was getting ready to push this out, I actually found out this side. There was a couple more little bolts that held in. This piece of angle iron held it in there to hold that piece in there. This other side's got the same thing. I actually really like that they did it that way so that it can be removed uh, easier. But really, I just had to cut a couple more bolts with my grinder. So you might, each of these trailers built a little bit differently, has its own little nuances. Even the same uh, manufacturer may have little nuances from year to year, ways that they've improved or changed the design just a little bit. So now, I'm gonna put my earplugs in because this can get loud and I'm going to push this skin in. Literally, all I'm gonna do is push with my hands like this. It's done. I removed that angle piece just like I showed you on the other side. I may, because it's a shorter piece, the possibility is there that I have to use this uh, pry bar uh, to, to force it out, but it shouldn't be a big deal. on this door skin, see, it's loose in there. Well, well, it's kind of, looks can be deceiving sometimes. What they did is they tacked this door skin in three spots up at the top here. I'll show you, I'll bring you in close, show you what it looks like. These little tack welds, they're no big deal. 
All right, so if you look, you see there's, that's the edge of your door skin. There's a tack weld there. That one's actually busted, so that's good. There's a tack weld there. There's also a tack weld there. So what I'm gonna do is grind those off and then maybe be able to push this skin out. Ideally long sleeves, I've got short on. Remember what I say on safety on all these. You should do stuff. Sometimes I don't always do the safety stuff, but I try not to put myself in precarious positions. So ideally long sleeves, you just might get some little, you know, some sparks landing on you. It's not too big of a deal, but definitely protect your face. Always, always protect your face. into that door frame metal. All I want to do is shave that weld off where that'll pop loose. This other one's almost shaved down enough, you'll see it. try to push this skin out but you might have to cut it we'll see what happens so that skin as you saw bow once it got past these edges boom popped right out of there now our door skins and our wall skins are out of this trailer I'll kind of give you you know a look around to show you what this, and this trailer's looking awfully naked now, it's going to be embarrassed when we take it out on the road uh, in this situation because it ain't got no clothes on. Door, wall, floor's gone, this door's gone, this wall is gone, uh, windows are all gone, there's not a whole lot left of this trailer except for the frame, the bare bones. We want that skeleton that we can build off of. That's what we want. We want the skeleton. And we can start putting, uh, putting some good meat back on this sucker here in just a little bit. <laughs> 